Hello everyone. In this video, we will be describing polynomial graph and this is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. Before we jump into these two examples we have here, let's have a review on end behavior of polynomial functions. We remember that a graph of every polynomial function can be classified into four even positive, even negative, odd positive, and odd negative. A graph of a polynomial function is even positive if the left end is directed up and then the right end is directed up. So if both left and right are directed upward. Now, a graph of a polynomial function is even negative if the left end is directed downward and the right end is directed downward. Now, a graph of a polynomial function is odd positive if the left end is directed downward and the right end is directed upward and it's going to be called odd negative if the left end is directed upward and the right end is directed downward. Okay, so let's jump into this first example right here. So we're given a graph and we're supposed to determine the minimum degree, we're supposed to determine the number of real roots, and we're supposed to determine the number of complex roots. Now let's start with the minimum degree. Please remember that we're using the word minimum here because we don't consider multiplicity, meaning there are some cases where this kind of uh, root right here appears in mul multiple times, so we're, we don't consider multiplicity here. The formula for minimum degree is the number of turning points plus one. So in this first problem right here, we count the number of turning points, that's one, two, and three. So there are three turning points. Turning points means that where the graph is turning from, the, it, it, this part right here is directed downward and it went up, it's directed upward. So it was turning at this point. In this case right here, this is the turning point. It, it started from, it's going up and then it's going down at that point. So this was the turning point. So in this case right here, we have three turning points. So one, two, and three. So we go ahead and say three plus one is four. So that means this is fourth degree polynomial. Okay. Now, please remember that by definition, real roots are roots that are located on the x-intercept. So they represent the x-intercept. So in this case right here, we have two of them. This is an x-intercept and this is an x-intercept. So pretty much there are two roots for this. To get the complex roots, we actually remember that the minimum degree is the sum of both the real root and the complex root, which means that there are also two complex roots. So that if we add two complex roots plus two real root, it would come out four. So when we add these two, it should come out the minimum degree. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Let's determine the minimum degree. Again, by definition, to find the minimum degree, we are going to count the number of turning points plus one. So in this problem right here, we have one turning point. That's the second, third, and fourth. So we have four turning points. So that's going to be four plus one is five. So then we can go ahead and say that this is a fifth degree polynomial. Okay, so let's determine the number of real roots. Again, by definition, real roots are the x-intercepts. So in this problem right here, this is the only x-intercept in this graph. So this one is barely touching, it's, it's not really touching it. So we only have one real root. Okay, now let's move on to the complex roots. We remember that the total number of roots refers to the number of the minimum degree. Since there are, it's in the fifth degree, that means that we only have one. So then we go ahead and say that there are four complex roots. So that if we add the um, number of real roots and the number of complex roots, it's going to be four plus one is Five. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. We determine the minimum degree. We remember that minimum degree refers to the number of turning points plus one. So in this problem right here, we have one, two, three, and four. So we have four turning points. So it's gonna be four plus one. Okay, so this polynomial right here is fifth degree. Okay, so let's determine the number of real roots. Again, real roots are the x-intercept. So in this problem right here, we have one, that's the first real root, that's two and three. This part right here is not touching the x-axis, so we go ahead and say that there are three real roots. Okay, to determine the complex roots, we just go ahead and subtract the minimum degree minus the real root, so that would be 2. So that if you add 2 and 3, that would be 5. So this means that there are two complex roots. So that's going to be 3 plus 2 is 5. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Minimum degree, we count the number of turning points. So that's going to be 1 two, three, four, and five. So there are five turning points, which means that the minimum degree is six. So this uh, graph right here is a graph of a sixth degree polynomial. Now let's determine the number of real roots. So again, real roots are the x-intercepts. So this one is not touching the x-axis. So this one right here is a real root and this is another real root right here. So we pretty much have only two real roots. To determine the complex roots, we can subtract the real root from the minimum degree, which is four complex roots. So that if we add two plus four is six. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!